welcome to our lecture series on fundamentals of game design and gameplay we are discussing how to incorporate stories and narratives into the games so uh, this particular video will uh, discuss about a storytelling engine and some other concepts as well i think storytelling engine it's the component of the uh, game engine as part of the game engine that incorporates stories into the game okay as a game designer in your game design document you should talk about the story you should talk about the storytelling engine in your game design document as well i think storytelling engine is the engine that weaves the story into the game i think both the storytelling engine and the core mechanics they interact with other or they synchronize with the, each other to incorporate the story into your game core mechanics keep tracks of the different gameplay events and whenever required triggers the storytelling engine to include the story to the game and whenever a story is finished or the cutscene is finished the storytelling engine triggers the core mechanics so that core mechanics can go with the next gameplay the storytelling engine and core mechanics they should work with synchronously so that the story can proceed uh, i think as, a, as the story or as planned and it doesn't include any randomness in the story so what does the storytelling engine does as you can see it introduces the story to introduce narrative stories it not really interrupts the story it will actually interrupts the gameplay to introduce narrative stories and narrative events must be interposed among the gameplay events core mechanics provide the gameplay events and storytelling engine interposes those uh, narratives or game stories into the gameplay events storytelling engine does the weaving and it weaves narrative elements narrative events to the gameplay core mechanics oversee the player's progress through the challenges and storytelling engine keeps track of the progress through the story these core mechanics and the storytelling engine should work together to create a single seamless experience core mechanic will manage player events and game events but storytelling event storytelling engine will manage the narrative events i think we talked about interactive stories game stories are interactive stories they involve three types of events player events game events and narrative events storytelling engine is responsible for the narrative events it keeps track of the progress throughout the story and determines what part of the plot and what part of the story should come next and determine if the story has reached a critical point it can trigger the core mechanics to cause change to the internal economy of the game i think changing the to appropriate uh, gameplay situation in storytelling or in the storytelling engine i think the level designers they also have some sort of uh, contribution i think uh, here the level designers can also be involved because uh, how the story how and at what point the story will move from one level to another level uh, the level designers can decide on that and provide those features or the facilities there and also level designers can think of from how the avatar's property should propagate from one level to the next level so now we will discuss different types of stories interactive stories for games the one of the concept of game story is the agency it's the player's ability to change the game plot and game story and based on this 
the stories can be linear or non-linear in case of linear stories the player cannot change the gameplay the players cannot change the game story but in non-linear games the player are given the power to change the story to change the gameplay and players actions will decide which plot or which way the story will move i think linear stories those are interactive stories for sure but the players they just contribute to the game scenes of game world but the story will go through the same game world and same sequence of the game plots the players are not changing the game story for example half life starcraft those are linear stories the stories flow into one direction the traditional stories like the movie stories or stories in books those are also linear stories because the sequence on the game plots it's not game plot the story plots are the way the story moves it's it's a uh, sequential and the story has are just only one ending here are some of the advantages uh, to incorporate linear stories into games linear story based games require less content hence less development cost storytelling engine it is also simpler i think whatever way the plot will come it's almost linear i think based on the uh, trigger from the core mechanics the storytelling has to do little uh, calculation to define the next plot and as there are fixed plots and there are fixed sequence of the plots and that there is only one ending and there is only one a uh, sequence of how the plots will come the developers has to keep track of less stuff or has to uh, use less resource so it's less prone to bugs and absurdities it denies the player agency it does not keep the player it provides